Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. An exciting, an exciting shave coming today, an exciting shave coming today with regards to the brush. The razor is always exciting because it works perfectly and the soap, which I absolutely love. I love the label, I love the scent, I love the splash, I love the colours. The company's great, it's Canadian, which is pretty much next to Scotland and Australia, my favourite country on the planet. And the scent on this one, oh, it's just off the charts amazing. It's a citrus, almost like a spicy cola, like a vanilla spiced cola. That's what my nose says anyway. It's not great, but it's very gourmand. I do love the scent and it does lather up beautifully and make a great lather. Now the brush, I did my head shave with a rhodium knot, a 27 mil Manchurian, which is pretty much untreated, untouched hair best quality that you can get and it was lovely just a little bit scritchy and scratchy for me this one i'm going to leave quite a bit of water in this so we can have a look this is a 27 mil i believe silver tip two band silver tip now this one is treated it has been treated that is what gives it that sort of gel effect on the tips of the knot that sort of with the old sort of glue together a little bit. Now you can see there's a little band that runs through this one here. Obviously these are hand tied, you don't know what you're getting until you actually wet them in the end. But that's so soft, that little band, it's like really jelly soft tips. But anyway, I've just flicked out the excess, squeezed it out, flicked it out, and I'm gonna go straight into the soap and load her up. Now, these are relatively new knots, I believe. I don't think that, I think they were tied not long ago. They have, been, they have been sent out, they were sent out to a couple of people before me to test them out I believe and have a look at them and see what they think. And it's been sent on to me. And so far, I've hand lathered both. This one is amazing. It's so soft, it's like a cloud on the face, on the hand, sorry. It just like, feels like a synthetic, if I'm honest. I don't know what the face feels going to be like, I'm looking forward to this. But this is the same hair grade that has been, that has been knotted into my own handle which I sent Surjan. Now these are made by Surjan Danicic out of the Australian Capital Territory, which is sort of north, I think it's northeast Australia. Oh God, I love the scent on this soap. I really do. So I don't really know what to expect from it. I have used one high quality hand tied knot before and that was a 33 mil declaration grooming knot which was Spencer Franco's brush, which is now with Kai Triska. And there we go. So the brush is heavily, heavily loaded. You see there, the handle is ceramic. I think this is made by Sir Jan's sister. I don't like the white handle. I don't think it looks very nice. I think it's quite a boring color. It's not a great looking style either. It's not my style. I would certainly never purchase one based on that handle. However, I do like the black handle that comes with the Manchurian here in it. But, we're not here about the handle, this is about the knot for me. Now these are tester brushes that, that Sir Jan has sent out. Let's scoop the rest of this excess, we don't want to waste this stuff. Now the great thing with tallow and steel, with their splashes, they are non-alcohol based, so you can have them shipped around the world direct from their website. And I think my, uh, and a couple of others are still available on there. He obviously does quite a few limited edition special releases as well. And they sell out super, super fast. I'm very lucky to have one in my den. I can't even remember the name of it, but it was a collaboration with Moyo Grooming and it's phenomenal. But anyway, enough talking about everything else. Let's talk about this knot for a little bit before I then talk about some other news in my life. Let's just scoot that a little bit on there and I'll start painting it on. I've got to be honest here, I'm a bit worried about dropping this handle. I know if this drops on the floor, it's going to go smash. All right, first impressions, it's very dense. I'm not feeling any hair fibers at all on my face so far. I know I'm only painting, but I'm not feeling any like individual hair strands that cause that scritch and scratch like I got from the, from the Manchurian version on my head. Now, I am gonna just splay this brush straight away. Is that a loose hair? Oh, is it me? Is it just me? That's a bloody loose hair. I do sort of expect it. I 
especially if it's a reasonably new knot to lose a few hairs. I hope I just don't have this sort of curse with brushes. It's funny that my Morrison Fondren shed every single shave, send it over to America to Carl, Carl, to Kyle, over at Brown Man Shaves. And it stops shedding. Weird. Right, I'm going to splay this brush. And I have to say, that feels incredible. You can see the splay on it. Is it massive because it's so dense? I mean, I, I can't. I'm not pushing hard with it. I'm pushing hard enough to splay it. I am having to push harder than I would just a normal like the. 26mm Fanturians and stuff like that from that Dan Rob in Grizzly Bay. Otherwise you wouldn't actually be able to splay it, but the tips are so soft. Wow. Uh, if you're looking to get any prices on these knots, what you have to do is either follow the links down below, I'll put down Sir Jan's Instagram page. But that, look at the line that that's making. Incredible. I'm just going to dip the tips again. A little bit of moisture in there, I jumped on. I'm not feeling really, in all honesty, anything from this knot other than scrub. It's got an amazing scrub. It's very reminiscent to the Simpsons chubby two that I had. In fact, if anything, it feels it feels denser and it feels softer. And you can see the flow through is working beautifully. Everything's coming out the sides of the knot. Like so. Wow. That is a really, really full knot. It's absolutely full of lather. There's way more than enough for four or five passes there, really. I mean, there is a bit of blue in this handle that looks nice, but it's just not my step. Right, on to the shave now, so I can get back to the brush. The carved Christopher Bradley razor, all aluminium, with the same Nasset blade that I've used for the last two shaves. So this is the third shave on this Nasset. I've got 24 hours growth. This is a zero prep shave. I've literally come home from the hospital. My dad's taking the boys down to get the haircut. That's my middle kids. Mitchell, who's 11, it says graduation from primary school tomorrow. Graduating from primary school, weird. Before he starts his journey into secondary next year, from year seven. It's a really dense protective ladder. 
It's superb. I thought I actually thought it was a little bit dry, but it is cleaning out of my razor perfectly. Just melting away in the water. There we go. First pass done. I'm just going to empty the sink out. Add a bit of water. Incredible slickness. Incredible scent. The scent strength's right up there. It's like a seven. Scent strength. And it's very complex. There's a lot of things going on. Great slickness. And here we go. Round number two. With the rhodium knot. 27 millimeter. It feels incredible on the skin. I'm not going to mess with it too much because I don't want to get brush burn. I've only got 24 hours growth so my skin will still be a little bit from yesterday, a little bit irritated from yesterday but not much. That's a stupendous lather and it's still absolutely full, full to bursting with lather. So yeah, so I've been to the hospital today. I've had another x-ray and good and bad news. The good news is it's healing. It's healed about 75% of the way the dot rings. It's three quarters of the way there. The bad news is I'm still looking at another six weeks off. The good news with that is I'm off for Christmas. A new year. The even better thing is, I can't drive, so I can drink anywhere I want, I just can't drive anywhere. Even though, in general, all I drink is water. And the very occasional gin. Tell you what, this is a cracking shave. Oh, the scent on this soap is amazing. It's a, it's a very unique scent. It does smell like a cold, like gourmand scent to me with spices and things through it, but it's not something everyone would enjoy. A lot of people don't like gourmand scents. They don't want scents that smell. Is that a loose hair? No. There are a lot of hairs that are just ever so slightly longer in this. It's hand tie, so it's not going to be a perfection knot. It's not going to be like a machine where it gets them at the right height perfectly. and It's all done by hand, eyed by a man, not a machine. Now, if you want to get hold of one of these, I will pop the links down below. I don't know whether I said that in this video or the last video, but I'll pop the links to Sir Jan's Instagram page. I don't know what he charges for worldwide stuff, but I know in Australia, to order one of his knots in a 28mm variant, I'm not going to see the price I pay because I don't want to, in case his prices have changed or whatever they've changed, whatever's happened. But I 
did I did purchase it. it this, the knot I'm getting in my brush wasn't just given to me. It wasn't just made for me because I got a channel. I, I was, was purchased at full price. This price is a far superior to Declaration Grooming, and I what a knot! It's phenomenal. Gillette that second blade is just melting the hair off. Simply superb. No carb razor, I tell you what. The aluminium version for me just is better than the stainless and brass because it's lighter and I control the pressure. I have a lot less problems. And I don't really have many problems with the carb razor. But one problem I do have is if I use a different razor for a couple of days, the Tatara or the Stab razor or I use something else, I lose the feel for the stainless or the brass, the heavier razor, and I do cause myself a little bit of irritation those first couple of shaves. Tell you what, let's just squeeze this out and see what comes out. I don't normally do this. Very slick soap. Doesn't taste the best. There we go. Absolutely incredible. What a shave. Now, on a family note, if you've watched my recent shoes, you'll know that I spoke about my youngest son having an interview at South Coast Baptist College in Western Australia for the Football Academy. He had two trials about a month and a half, two months ago. And as a result, was offered a half scholarship, which basically means we pay half the fees for three years, which is, doesn't seem like much, but when you're saving over $2,000 per year, it's quite a significant saving. So he signed on the dotted line over the weekend and as of next year, we'll be starting to be the first in my family, probably the first ever in my whole entire history of family, to get a scholarship for soccer or football. It's not something that's really done in the UK, which is crazy, really crazy. And what's happening is these kids over here that do it, not only do they get a great education, but because they're doing something that they love so much, doing it every day, playing soccer and football, soccer and football, football, they, they just excel at school, and that's all. That's what we're hoping for. I tell you what, that is a freaking cracking shave. By my standards, that's pretty, pretty exceptional. So, I'll talk about this in a minute. Let's get everything else out of the way. Tallow and steel, Maya, shaving soap. I love the label. I absolutely love the scent. I think it's, it's in my top five scents. Really, it's up there with Fuji and Gotti. Definitely, it's definitely in the talking point for me when it comes to scents. 
obviously one of my favourite scents was a Gourmand scent and I can't really, I can't really, I can't use it anymore which is Great Malicious from K-Shape Works because I react to the soap and the splash sadly Oh, she feels incredible but I've got Mitchell's all fat up here oh, the Poche feels amazing amazing Poche from both the razor for today was the Carve Christopher Bradley razor in aluminium with the B plate 0.73 blade gap Gillette Nasset third use incredibly smooth and comfortable and sharp brilliant nice light razor you control the pressure yourself it's an exceptionally built razor well designed, well engineered, I mean it's almost flawless, it really is, a beautiful little razor. And let's get to the brush. The brush in fact, you know what, let's not get to the brush, let's finish off first. Tallow and steel, my aftershave, like I said before, this is witch hazel and aloe vera based I believe. It's 90, is it night? Um, let me see, so I'm sure it says somewhere that it's all, is it all organic? Scent made from the oils of fine ingredients favoured by the Mayans, let me have a look. Maybe not, but I know there's a lot of organic witch hazel, organic aloe vera. There's the ingredients list there if you want to pause it and have a look. Yeah, brilliant. Handmade in Winnipeg, Canada. Let's get a splash of that. For the head. And let's just have another little splash. Or the face and neck. Oh. Certainly a sort of clovey cinnamon vibe to it. With a sort of it's like an old spice. I do get a burn from it. And I would say, in all honesty, it's a more intense burn than I get from alcohol. Alcohol generally I get that and then it's gone. With this, it's a gradual burn, and I, it's more than likely some of the stuff in the product, some of the, the, the oils and stuff like that, the, the spices that are in there, you know, the cinnamons and cloves, they do react to people's skins. I do have a, I've got a tolerance to it, but I do generally struggle with really clovey, strong cinnamon scented soaps and things. Bay rums, I sort of struggle with it, they're very, very strong in the clove. So I get a burn from this more in the face and the neck than I do on my head, but I can feel it. It's a warming, more like a warming burn, it's not like a painful but you know like my facial expressions there you know what I mean anyway I'm done I'm done with all of that rhodium knots this is a 27 mil silver tip knot it does two knots they're both two bands they're both the highest quality badger knot here that you can get they're very dense I mean that I'm squeezing that pretty hard and you can see still how big that knot is in my hand it's just a stunning brush. This one, when soaked in the water, is super, super soft on the tips. There's no scratch or scratch from it whatsoever. It's very dense. You've seen how easy it creates a lather. It creates a lather very, very easily. Feels great on the face. It's got a great scrub. Uh, for all intents and purposes, it's one of the best knots I've used, really, in all honesty. I think it looks nice as well. It does have that Declaration grooming look about it, you know, albeit it's rhodium knots, but you know what I mean. Declaration grooming is so big in the way it's shaving scene at the moment. To make something that comes close or matches or betters them is quite a feat to be honest. And this knot is absolutely beautiful. Works a treat. Don't like the handle, not a fan of this handle. I think it looks alright. I think it looks nice. I think the knot makes it look even better. But I, th I do honestly believe I think this knot and this handle here. I, I quite enjoy that, I think that's quite nice, got a lovely gloss and shine to it, nice colour and it looks nice with that knot in it as well, that one is the Manchurian but today's shave, really happy, this is the knot that's actually in my, that darn rod brush that's coming back to my house now, superb, Serjan Danicic, I'll pop the links to his Instagram down below you can find them on, on, on Spacebook, Spacebook, on Facebook, you can find them on there as well, it's S-R-D-J-A-N, J-I-N Fuck, hell man, come on. S-R-D-J-A-N And the surname is Danicic, D-A-N-I-C-I-C. Danicic, yes. I think that's how it's pronounced anyway. I always try my best to get it right. If I've got it wrong, no doubt he'll comment and call me an idiot. But I do try. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. What a cracking shave. What a cracking couple of shaves. No weepers, no cuts, 
no real, well, no real irritation other than the burn from the splash, which is actually quite a, a nice, comforting burn, if that makes any sense to you guys out there. Really happy. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.